the problem for me was uh, only java is allowed uh, and i knew c++ at that time so i had two challenges there uh, first to solve the problem and convert that solution into java uh, even if you're not thinking to do mtech still you should prepare for gate because uh, let's face it engineering mein everyone studies one night before the exam and us same passing marks so le aate hain but uh, we don't really understand the subject and it's really good to know about your domain hi guys i'm you missing welcome to my channel in previous videos we have already shared interview experience of google facebook microsoft amazon direct time and many more link in the description so please do like share and subscribe in today's video we are going to talk with abhinav who got placement as a trainee analyst in vision infotech so today we are going to talk about his interview experience and preparation strategy hi abhinav welcome to our channel Hello sir thank you for having me could you please introduce yourself uh, okay so uh, so i am abhinav jain and i have done my btech mtech dual degree uh, in computer science from jp institute of information technology noida uh, i have been uh, active uh, in co- competitive programming uh, since my college days uh, like i got introduced to the world of competitive programming in my, uh, in my second year of college itself so there on my interest in programming grew and i used to participate in lots of coding contests as well so my uh, latest achievement uh, is that i have secured a global rank of 454 in google kickstart 2020 and other than this i was very active on code chef and code force code forces during my college uh, i also prepared for gate 2020 in computer science branch i secured the rank 1445 uh, in gate 2020 as well and also in my last semester i had done an internship at amazon uh, which was basically an on campus opportunity that i got so that went pretty well was it two month internship or six month it was a six months internship oh that's great six month internship in amazon it's really great okay uh, tell us about the selection process of uh, uh, in vision infotech okay i had applied at vision uh, infotech off campus so the process was like uh, there was one coding test and then post that there were three technical interview rounds uh, of around 1 hour uh, the first technical round was based on algorithm and data structure uh, the second round was based on dbms uh, and the third round was held by the executive director oh uh, tell us about your online coding round experience and what was the difficulty level and what was the length of the uh, online coding round okay so the coding test uh, was hosted on hacker earth and there were two questions to be solved uh, within one hour the problems were easy i guess uh, one problem required a greedy algorithm and the other one was based on binary search the problem for me was uh, only java is allowed uh, and i knew c++ at that time so i had two challenges there uh, first to solve the problem and convert that solution into java uh problems were very simple uh, for me so i just google the syntax uh, and convert that solution into java and i was able to solve both the questions within the time so you didn't know java that time still you managed to solve both the question so how is it happened <laughs> yeah actually uh, during the contest i uh, used google to get the syntax uh of uh, there were some things that i only was uh, struggling with the syntax the logic was pretty very uh, easy so for that i used google and uh, it was done so guys that's what the programming is programming and coding is the different thing if you know the programming that means you can code it in any language you just need some syntax and syntax more or less are same so if you know the c++ you can easily learn any other language within 2 or 3 days because you are good in programming so that's how i will now secured or clear the written test in java as well even though he was not familiar with the java that time so abhi now after successfully completion of the written test you faced the first technical interview which was you already told us based on data structure and algorithm as you are competitive yeah. programmer so i assume it was comparatively easy for you so how was your experience 
Okay, so the first technical round uh, was, as you said, was based on algorithm and data structures. Uh, mm-hmm. He first asked me some basic questions uh, of data structures. Uh, then he asked me about the concept of hashing, and he went deep into that topic. So in this round, we had a discussion on hashing techniques, hash tables, and uh, and all. So he asked me questions like, "What is hashing? Why do we need it? Uh, which one is the best hash function?" Uh, and about the collision resolution techniques that we have. And uh, then the interviewer gave me a problem based on hashing. Uh, the question was, uh, I have an array of integers, uh, and I need to print the number whose frequency is maximum. Uh, in case two or more numbers have the same frequency, uh, then I needed to print the smaller number. So for this problem, I discussed my solution uh, with the interviewee. Uh, once we were satisfied with the approach, he asked me to code the solution on a shared Google Doc. So writing the uh, on the Google Doc was a bit challenging for me, as I had to write fully functional error-free code uh, without any compiler, and that too in Java, which I had learned only for this interview uh, in the last two or three days. Oh. So uh, that yeah, that was this first about this first round. This was your forte. First round was your forte because you are very good in competitive programming. After that, there is a second yeah. round of interview. How was your experience in the second round? How it is different from the first round, and what difficulty you faced there? Okay, so in the second technical round, uh, we mainly had the discussion around databases and DBMS, uh, and it went for around one hour. Uh, firstly, he asked me some basic database uh, and relational algebra questions. I was also asked why normalization in tables is uh, required. Because of my gate preparation, I had uh, like strong hold on d- databases, so that helped me a lot. Uh, then I was asked questions on SQL and NoSQL uh, databases. Also, I was asked to create a scenario uh, where NoSQL DB would be like more relevant and query efficient. So this discussion went for quite some time, um, and he also asked me to write some uh, SQL query. Uh, so that's all about my second round. So what was the length of the second round? it was around 1 hour only for 1 hour you discussed the database that means he might have asked so much of question yeah yeah he asked me about the primary keys and all of that like so, it was just discussion uh, going on it was a discussion but in 1 hour you can ask whole database in 1 hour like yeah uh, relational algebra functional key uh, primary key Foreign key, normalization, yes. deadlocks, everything. Yes. One hour is a huge time for database. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a huge time. Because in he the DSA, in with if someone is giving you a problem, it might take 20 minutes or 30 minutes. But in database, yeah. either you know it or you don't know it. Yeah, yes. <laughs> so that's why I'm saying uh, the gate preparation really helped me a lot. So after the second round and first round coding round, you went for the final round, which was which was held by executive director itself. So how was the experience, yeah. and was it scary to face a such a high position person? Yes, yes, it was surely very intimidating. Uh, so the final round was uh, taken by the executive director. Uh, of vision and it was purely based on my resume uh, firstly he asked about myself uh, so i was ready for that question uh, then he asked about my past internships uh, he asked a lot of questions about my work at amazon he asked like what all technologies i have learned during my span at amazon that i did not know at co- in college uh, and he asked questions like how does your prior experience prepare you for this uh, job so i told about my internship experience and i had uh, i had really learned a lot uh, there so i told uh, we had a very uh, good discussion there about that uh, once he was finished with uh, my internship he asked uh, some questions about the projects during my college so i was uh, asked about uh, certain technologies that i had uh, mentioned in my resume uh, the questions that were asked uh, were mainly to test me if i had really done those projects myself so like i had a nodejs projects mentioned in my resume uh, that uh, and that used socket.io so he asked me uh, how do you run javascript through the terminal or uh, so, uh, why did i use socket.io in my project what would have changed if i had not used socket.io 
so i answered those questions uh, very easily because i had done my projects myself uh, and my projects were not that uh, like big they, it was just a chatting app and uh, like there are many chatting apps already made but the thing was that uh, that chatting app was totally made by myself and that was like really my project and which is why i was confident in answering those questions about my projects guys project played a very important role and whatever you are writing in a resume plays very important role so please make sure whatever you are writing every single word in your resume should be no known by you by heart and a half of the interview was based on amazon internship and everyone have learned a lot in amazon because there is a work environment like this because amazon yeah. takes your heart and soul for 8 hours you need to give 12 to 20 hours per day <laughs> yes and they even assign you a mentor like in college i uh, used to think how will i be able to work at amazon uh, alongside those um, people but uh, the thing is they assign you a mentor and the work culture is such that they will make you learn and they will uh, make you do the work okay so you get to learn a lot of in internships yes yeah. i mean in amazon people learn a lot so yeah uh, how did you prepare for your placement and internship okay so i had started like competitive programming in my second year of college itself uh, not because i had to uh, like for uh, prepare for my placements but because it was so much fun and uh, so my second third and fourth year went into programming and there on i became a decent coder then in my fifth year of college i started preparing for gate exam because i thought i had focused a little too much on algorithm and data structures and i need to be better in my core technical subjects as well so my motive to prepare for gate was to prepare for placements uh, as i was assured that i will uh, be able to handle coding rounds i was focusing extensively on gate syllabus uh, so i think gate really helped me uh, prepare for the interviews okay so what tips you want to give your fellow candidates and fellow juniors okay so the tips that i would give to young candidates is uh, that in college uh, you have a lot of time so make full use of it like try everything uh from web development machine learning android development competitive programming everything you might like one domain uh, and you might hate the other one but at least in the uh, in the process you would know in what domain you you want to get better because after college life is really going to change and it gets really difficult for people uh, for to prepare for coding rounds or anything along with their jobs so college is the best time i would say to prepare uh, or to know your forte so uh, you have the time you have the energy uh, just you have to channelize that energy into proper direction so that is one advice and one more advice i would give is uh, even if you're not thinking to do mtech still you should prepare for gate because uh, let's face it engineering mein everyone studies one night before the exam and us same passing marks to le aate hain but uh, we don't really understand the subject and it's really good to know about your domain so if you're trying to build your career in computer science yeah that's all from my side okay so thank you abhinav thank you very much thank you for your insight <laughs> thank you so much for having me yeah guys please like share and subscribe uh, it's this is a really good channel <laughs> and if any of you have any query you can leave the comment in comment section and you can ask us on linkedin as well uh, the linkedin profile link in the description both of us so you can message us there as well so thank you avinav yeah thank you so much